फिर आओ आम करे लाल आओ आम करे लाल का फिर का फिर ओके कूल या जस्ट वन थिंग यू लॉ या एम um just one thing about the muta and ultra and samak and rajul are listening that was the shia concept now what you what you'll notice in the shia concept was both parties have agreed it did, did you like did you like get that point yeah. that both the woman and the mo- the woman and the man have agreed right yeah. yeah now watch this now watch this the sunni alternative they actually have an alternative to this do you know what the alternative is because obviously for them they believe that muta was abrogated even though we deny it but you know what yeah. the alternative is, is instead yeah. the alternative yeah. is this you yeah. marry the girl in a permanent marriage in what a permanent um, marriage permanent. but guess what okay. you're only marrying her yeah. let me, also, let me, you're only marrying her to have sex with her but you don't tell her that so you marry her in a permanent marriage you don't tell her you have sex with her and then you divorce her and they consider that valid mm. so, so which wait, one's wait, worse? Hang on a second no, wait, wait, Raza, hold on pause pause right so you're saying the sunni equivalent which is called what the sunni what's that again the Sunni equivalent to Muta is, is what, what you call what, the, what, they literally call it marriage with the intention to divorce. Okay, okay. What, but what's the hate word? Is it halala? Halala like is, is something they do to get around the, the concept of uh, when a woman. Is that my fault for that ultra? That's all right. Yeah, um, yeah the, so, the, the halala, so, the halala so, is, technical. It's, it's, it's basically when a woman's divorced and because she wants to get back with her first husband, she marries another man, he has sex with her. And she married the first one. That's halala. So wait a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. So Mrs. A is married to Mr. A. Mr. A divorces Mrs. A, and now Mrs. A is Mrs. A. Right. Miss A wants to get back with Mr. A, but in order to get back with Mr. A, she has to sex Mr. C. And then and then so get that, divorced. And then get divorced. And then, and then, then marry. So what, what, what kind of fucking stupid bullshit is that? You see, I don't, I don't really bring this up. I only bring this up because they like to have shots at Muta. So I'm like, well, let's, let's no, have wait, Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. How about, right, you divorced, fine. But how about you fucking rekindle, work it out, and get back together? What's with this? I have you to see fuck problem, someone else first. That don't make no I'll sense. Tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. is because uh, in Islamic law, once you've been divorced fully, you can't get back with that person. So this is their way around it. Oh, can and you the, that again? Can you explain? Because I couldn't hear in, that. Bit, so in Islamic you, law, when you are divorced, um, you're not because you've now divorced each other, and God's told you He takes that seriously. You are not allowed to get with each other again unless you married someone else. You know, had a long marriage with them, and then you know whatever's happened, he's died, or you've divorced him as well because you never got along with him. Only then are you allowed to get back with the original guy. Now the way around that, the, what, what what people have done in the, the 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 people have done amongst the Sunnis, what they've said is okay. You know what we'll do because they've divorced and they want to get back with each other. You marry Mr. B, you will have sex with him for a day. He'll divorce you, and then you get back with Mr. A. And she is she is considered that illegal, by the way. So yeah. And so wait, hang on a second. So that means you're getting back with your ex misses, but she's now sloppy seconds. Now, yeah. And we're talking about she fucked someone 24 hours before you got back with her. Potentially, yeah, that's the one. That's fucking uh, disgusting. And that's 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 that's. that's wait, I, hang on a second. And another thing, Raz, I'm going to say something real fucked up and controversial right now. Why is it that your God saw fit to make it so that if a two a couple breaks up, they can't fucking work it out and rekindle? Like, what, yeah. What, so let me break what, that down. What, what, what the fuck is that about? Yeah, let me break it like, down. Like, I, I so basically, like, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Wait, whoa. Right. Oh, you didn't wash up the fucking dishes. Can you please explain the concept of halala in Islam? What do you mean by halala? Sister has a question that what is the concept of halala? Sister, there's no concept of halala. This is what I said in our society, halala. What I'm referring to is that when a husband gives divorce to the wife, and he gives triple talaq three times, he gives divorce, and it's irrevocable divorce. Then there's a verse in the Quran in Surah Bakara, chapter number two, verse number 228 to 240, which speaks about the divorce, etc. And it says in Surah Bakara, chapter two, verse number 230, it says that divorce is only permissible thrice. The third time, it is irrevocable. After that, you cannot remarry. So the divorce is taken based upon the Sharia. You cannot remarry a wife who you have given divorce thrice. How to give you can refer to my video cassettes. In this case, you cannot remarry unless 
you marry another husband. That means that if you marry a person and you give divorce, again you remarry her, again you give divorce, again you remarry, again you give divorce, in the normal context of the Islamic Sharia, then Islam says that you cannot keep on doing, you know, marriage is not, like as a gudda gudda ka khil nahi, it's not a marriage of dolls. So, fine, once, fine, twice, fine, third time, it's irrevocable. After that, you cannot marry, unless you marry someone else. And like I give the example, you know, many times, our mother, they tell us that, a market mein jayenge, to dal ate ka bhao manu padenge. Dal ate ka bhao means, dal or ate ka bhao manu padenge. You come to know the rate of the dal and the flour, etc. You may think that your husband is not good, I don't want to stay with him, or he doesn't want to stay with you, and then you realize, oh, my wife was so good. So you remarry, again you divorce, again there's divorce, again you remarry. So then, after that, after third time, it's irrevocable. You can only marry if the ex-wife marries somebody else. And if in the normal course of time, then she realizes, okay, my first husband was better, the second is more worse. And if a divorce takes place, then she can remarry the former husband. So this system in some of society is called halala. That is what happens that in ignorance, the husband gets three divorces, and then he goes to the ulama, to the sheikh, to the maulana, and says that I have given irrevocable divorce. So they plan a halala. Planning, okay, fine, now you have done a mistake, now what you can do? You have to sleep with a man and marry him just for namesake and then after consummating the marriage, then give divorce. Planning such a thing is haram in Islam. You cannot plan such a thing. I know many people do it. It's haram. You cannot plan that I marry a person and then I consummate the marriage. I call it legalized prostitution. It's totally haram in Islam. You marry with the intention of staying with the person and then if you realize in the course of time that the husband is not good and if divorce takes place, then you can remarry the former husband who has given you three divorce. So there's no concept of halala, a planned mock scene where you marry and consummate and again remarry the former husband. It's totally haram sister. But if it happens in the course of time where the triple divorce has been given, three divorce has given and you marry a new husband and then you realize the first one is better and the divorce takes place. And then you remarry, there's no problem, but there's no concept of planned halala that is there, which takes place in certain parts of the community system. Hope that answers the question. Let it ma let's make it common and say openly, Shia, Kafir, Shia, Kafir. Let everyone, children, older and youth, say Shia, Kafir, Shia, Kafir. <laughs> Kafir 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 let everyone, children, older and youth, say Shia Kafir, Shia Kafir. Because my motherfucking life is a mess, but I made it. And I wouldn't trade it, because I stay faded. Fucking all the bitches till it look like we related.